Hi guys, welcome back to Cookie Mondays. Today we will be making red velvet cookies drizzled with white chocolate. Let's begin! In a large bowl, add 3 4 cups of brown sugar, half a cup of softened butter. If you don't have a handheld mixer or a stand mixer, feel free to use a fork like what I did, and you're going to mix it until it's light and fluffy. Then add one egg, one and one half teaspoons of vanilla extract, and continue mixing it until it's well combined. And once that's finished, you're going to add red food coloring. And I use about one teaspoon of the gel version. You can use liquid. I believe that should be fine as well. And just add it to the mixture. And feel free to add more if you want it darker or less if you want it lighter. And then just mix it until it's well combined. And the batter should look like this. It looks really wet, but it's fine because we're going to be adding the dry ingredients. All-purpose flour, salt, baking soda, and cocoa powder. Add it to the sifter and you're going to sift it into the bowl. Once you're finished sifting it, you're going to add it to the wet ingredients and you're just going to take your spatula and mix it. It looks really wet, I know, but that's how the batter of the red velvet cookies is supposed to be. Once you're finished adding the wet and dry ingredients together, you're going to feel like you want to add more flour, but don't because this is how the batter is supposed to be like. Then you're going to get the cookie dough and place it onto the baking mat and then you're going to bake it for 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 12 to 14 minutes. Let it sit for a couple of minutes on the pan and then transfer it to the cookie rack. So the chocolates I used was the Ghirardelli version and I just followed the directions on the back and melted it. I like this version of white chocolate because the consistency is really nice. Then I drizzled it onto the cookies and make sure the cookies are completely cooled or the white chocolate will melt off. And once you're done drizzling the white chocolate, add some heart sprinkles to give it more of a festive look for Valentine's Day. Thanks for requesting to make red velvet cookies. Let me know in the comment section what you want me to make for the next Cookie Monday. Thanks for watching guys! Bye guys!